Hey folks, hey, I'm Captain Mark Kit, Kit Coach Cheese Outdoors. Thanks for joining us this episode. It's very kind of you. All right, what's this episode? We're heading out of Smithtown on Texas boat, 20 degree white, work to the Bro, I'm freaking asleep, man. I just got up. Had to move seven cars. I was blocked in. I was ready to snap, no BS. Open my window. I'm scared. Had a friend over. So a girl from parks a car, blocks me in. Mr. Kid blocks me in. <laughs> so they were sleeping. I was contemplating just giving them both a super fly stuff there in their chest when they were freaking blocking me like that. No, I'm going out in the morning. Either that or I was just going to whack them straight in the face with a. Uh... First of all, you're not hitting anybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I, yeah, the new drift spoons are finally in. Oh, big deal. Kid Coach, she's my just spoon. Thank goodness. Got a box of them over there and give them a text. We'll show you a little later on the boat. On that note, let's just run through this quick promo. How you doing? A little sexy? Hi. I've been a throw up the sex in a. Uh huh. And I can put you in. Alright, so there you have it. That's a little funky set. Uh, my eyes are shot. I don't know if it's allergies or whatever. But, uh, there's allergies. I'm allergic to not catching fish for a winter. I'm dying. I, I gotta get text breakfast. Bacon and cheese on a roll. Works in nuts, a little salt, pepper, ketchup. That's what they do right here in New York, alright? That's what we do. Oh, you're saying, what are you wearing, kid, right now? Freaking this right there. Look at that. Sterling tackle. If you don't buy sterling tackle, He's a therapist. They're on board with us again this year. 2022 sponsors again. Doing the fishing. 7 Eleven's not gonna happen, by the way. Passing 7 Eleven. Coffee stinks. And all that crap is 10 days old. You eat a freaking bagel, that's butter, and it turns into powder. I'm sure. I gotta go to the secret deli over here. St. James. That's where we're gonna go. Alright, so I'm rambling still. Get over it. Alright, um, what's they saying? Oh, Sterling Tackle money right there. Pretty excited about using Sterling gear. There's a lot of stuff going on. You guys haven't seen the kid in a while. Driving the diesel. So tr I'm trying to, as I'm driving, I'm trying to coast as much as I can because I'm paying $8 a gallon because that's what we should be paying in, in America, right? Energy independence, selling fuel to other countries like nobody's business. Now we don't. We have to coast. Let's just put it that way. Gotta go around. This guy's a Charles like a toolbox. I like to hit him in the solar plexus. Just one shot watches. You see the power, seriously? The sound effects and the power, but when you see that dust come out, that means there's ninja going on. That's way, way at a different level of power. You're probably saying, yeah, with the oh, you're never on. This guy disgusts me. Shush. I am rambling. I'm rambling like a madman right now. Mm -hmm. Gotta get Texas breakfast. I gotta get my breakfast. Talk to Josie Wales, which is coffee, by the way, black. All right, on that note, right? My dad, the legend, all right? What is that? You teach, you know, you teach your kids stuff. I'm one of seven, by the way. I don't really know if anybody gives a monkey s about that. My dad sits down at the table and goes, drink your coffee black. I go, why's that? He goes, because you're never going to find milk in this He didn't say it for now. Because you're never going to find milk in this house. Your animals drink it all. Because there's seven of us, all right? Seriously. You open my fridge and you'll see a freaking cotton ball in there because all the savages oh, were eating on, it. Man. Man. I got two boys. These guys eat like the Russians are coming. I can't imagine seven kids, all right? That was back in the day. Old school Catholic family. I have a lot of babies. I'm going to the deli right now. Secret deli, by the way. Not bad. I think they had a joint back when I was on a job over in the streets over in Seaford, I think. They had a secret deli. It's the same people. Here's my sterling chat. It's it's sterling's right there, right? And what we're wearing here, it's powder blue. You're saying, kid, powder blue's not the most macho color. My hat's powder blue. I'm powder blue today. All right, the skies are powder blue. The skies are gray, overcast. Chance of rain. Who cares? Can the fish get any weather? No, they can't. Guess the day. It's going into the deli right now. You want to see it? Well, hold on. All right, on the way down, Secret Deli, check. Is this One Beach Road? No, Mauritius Road. This thing's got more twists and turns than a Daniel Steel book. <laughs> We're gonna go to Hedler Harbor, Nissaquag. Nothing but money here. Speaking about nothing but money, this is where Club Show the Kenny lives right now. This guy's raining money right now, isn't he? Club Show? I don't. So stay tuned. We'll be at the boat. 
five, four, three, that's three, two, one. I'm gonna try this again. Let's try this again. Oh, yeah. Spend a couple of hours. We caught three short fish. We're going for fluke. We're going for a lot of stuff today. We're shooting out against uh, what's under the thing. Hello, Simmy. Here it is. And the guys are waiting for the reveal. We got it. This is not a rule and roll deli sandwich by any means. Rule and roll, Melville. TJ Hooker on that bad boy with Matt. There you go, this is the reveal right there. What do you think? Hopefully you didn't get ketchup on my <laughs> did you? I did. You gotta have ketchup. Oh, yeah. What if you get You put ketchup course, on French this is, fries. This is America. Put ketchup on This freaking. is America. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Who? You do bacon, egg, and cheese over easy. Right now, <laughs> you'll do it over easy. First of all, I'll pull the audience. You throw <clears throat> salt, pepper, ketchup on everything, basically, in New York. That's terrible. Terribly. Oh, that's the most disappointed I've ever been. <laughs> well, wait till today's fishing. Oh, watch! I got your little present from Marsha Junior. Where are they? Oh yeah, baby! There you go. Texas, Texas got his arsenal. Texas arsenal. Right here. Here. Love you, Anthony. Texas arsenal. He's got a lot. I'm gonna put it over his ketchup oh. sandwich. That's the only thing that can make the ketchup better. There you go. Biting into a chrome uh, plate. Oh, there you go. I gave it two chromes. Look at this. That's right. One of those green. The greens are the cake. There it is. Look at that one, though. So I tried to distract him because he's very pissed off about his uh, bagel right now. So I thought I'd give him a couple of spoons. Three spoons. I know, ladies. If you don't have one of these, you're in the cool kid crowd, right? Shake of these stick here, brush your hand, we're out. We're going fishing. Got a couple of fish low, Michael. Okay. See him? Yep. Fish, 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 fish. Hell yeah. Get that out of the Okay. <laughs> Got the Masha rod. Masha rod. The mini Masha mojo. Masha sweatshirt. Masha outriders. So it's nice and Masha. Plan, the plan is coming together. Via La Masha. Viva? What does he say? Rancho La Masha. Get that in. Oh, I got it. You got ways to go. I'm gonna try to catch this guy. Let me lift it up, Mom. Let me lift it up. No, yes, he did. Yes, he did. That's what he just did right there. On the Mojo, mini Mojo. I have my little Reese's peanut butter cups. Basically, what I'm trying to do right now. I'm driving around in a Lambo. What we're trying to do is get those spoons in action, but we have to cover ground. We need to find fish, all right? We're trying to find stack fish where we could drop those spoons. Any happening, all right? I'd seen one little stack. We went to uh, use the uh, spoons on it, and the fish were gone. So what we're doing here is we're just covering ground. Picture the place where we're fishing right now is a submerged hot dog, all right? Comes up on each side, long, comes back up. Don't get weird, all right? comes up on each side. We are skirting around that hot dog trying to find fish. Those fish are staying on the sides of that hot dog. All right, they go across the top of the hot dog. What are they doing? You're getting hit with mustard, all right? Your gear. In other words, you're gonna hang up. It's not gonna be, it's gonna be scary monsters, all right? So what we're doing is 
we are skirting the hot dog, either running north and west on it or just taking the bottom of it and finding fish, all right? Covering a lot of ground, we're catching a lot of fish on the troll. But those fish are not stacked up yet. So therein lies the problem when it comes to drift spoons. You want to drop those on bunker pods or concentrated fish. It's not happening. So what we have to do, we have to troll for them today. Let's go to the troll again. They're right up the east side. Yeah, whatever. We had that fish, you had that first bite. Oh, fish on. Fish here. Yeah. Well, that's better. You got a fish though, right? Okay, my little piece of Wiener schnitzel. This is what we're using right here. Just a regular BS shad rig. I got it from Panther Martin from many moons ago from Walmart. And at the trailing end right here is where we're going to be putting that three ounce casting mojo from Tony Maja, all right? As a season starts it gets small baits and then it gets bigger all right captain sean over there in port of calls uh huntington he's whacking fish right now on the mojos all right captain kevin over bearfish charts also dragging mojo combos big mojo combos for these big fish right now so the fight is on and i'm just kind of giving you a hint of where it's happening you call that a fish <laughs> i apologize seriously is that what a chance What is that? <laughs> Tain enough. Pull back later. Fish on. I don't know what that was. That's deep water, so had to be a fish. Okay, my little slices of Wiener Schnitzel. Short strikes, right there. You see it, all right? Tech shells out fish on. I hit a mark. Why am I doing that? Because I'm trying to find out where these fish are. All right, I'm gonna go back after that fish. But keep an eye out, have one person watching that rod. I know that's not bottom because I know the height of it and I know the depth of water. I'm not even close. I'm easy 20 feet above the sea floor, so I know I'm not hitting bottom. So mark those fish, those short strikes, just like you see them right there. Happens a lot when trolling. So take note because there's a fish right there, he's ready to eat. So go back, set up on him and hit him again. All right, he'll come back, he'll, he'll bite. All right, on that note, this episode sponsored by Island Yacht Sales, New York, all right? These guys are not just selling boats. These guys are out there changing the community, all right? Had the opportunity to go over to the FFMD, which is Fish for Muscular Dystrophy. Chet at Island Yacht does this whole fundraiser. So it's not just about selling boats and fixing boats and doing all this nice stuff with the Everglades boats. It's about helping the community, finding a cure for muscular dystrophy. Chet and the guys from Everglades did this huge fundraiser, making over $142,000 from uh, MD research. So if you guys ever feel like doing a little quick donation for the kit and for FFMD, please follow this link below. I right, thank you all. Let's get back to the fishing. Oh, fish off, fish off. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go pick up the garage. Whoa, stop the presses, candy pants. All right, netting. Those guys who've been following this channel for a long time knew that back in 72 and the 76 Olympics, I came in uh, silver and gold for how to net a fish. What? Grab your pens, grab your pads, Snapchat this, learn this stuff, all right? How to net the striped bass coming to the side of the boat. This is gonna be sketchy. Just leave it in the water. I can't get it right here. 
No, Michael, you gotta bring it in. I can't get it in. Okay. Leave this. I'm gonna fuck up. That's how I do it. It's a little hot cameras. Oh my god. I'm even filming. Come on, okay with this. And that's how that's done. <laughs> all right, all right. There you go. We had a cluster going on there, right? You got to give me a little slack here. I'm trying to run the boat, reel in the rod, and film at one time. As Tex is bringing that thing in, he snags the camera with the shad rig, and I'm screwed up now. We got a situation. Yeah, the alarms are going off. Oh, those alarms are loud. What are we going to learn from that little lesson? Have a cameraman. Do something else. Free up your hands. You can't do 42 things at once, all right? Free people when you're trolling. One guy runs the boat. One guy catches the fish. Tex caught a lot of fish that day. Pretty funny. That's another stud. I'm all, okay. I'm all, you're good, you're good. I'm gonna break the tip of this rod. These are your mini mojos, all right? Deadly. What am I gonna tell you? Mustad hooks don't rust out. Killer. This tails, this is the one that's trailing that uh, shad rig. Do an umbrella rig with uh, spearing. You know, the sand deal umbrella rig doesn't make a difference. All right? This is what they're doing. They're catching this guy on the trailing edge. All right? We got that color. I throw a little chartreuse in white. I mix them up, bro. All right? But that's it. Absolutely deadly. Whacking the crap out of these things. And then, as I said, as the season gets bigger, as this thing's airing right now, this video's airing, those fish now are hitting bigger baits like the bigger mojos all right the bigger mojos the bigger mojos right they're right behind they're hitting the big dogs all right this is how i hold my mojos because that's the way i roll i'm pretty meticulous when i do my stuff but this thing weighs 50 pounds carrying a bag of backup sheds because sometimes bluefish they play with you as well Another thing, I'm plugging the hell out of Maja, but it's nice about Maja. These things have been here for years. They don't bleed on each other. Isn't that crazy? Pretty wild, right? This stuff doesn't bleed. So those colors stay true. So you don't have to carry 14 different bags of extra shad. They don't bleed. I ain't dumb. Tex and I did a thing. All Pro Stink. That's this stuff right here. When I say it stinks, oh, that's my Kid Coat Cheese Bag. Pretty cool, huh? When I say this stuff stinks, it stinks 10 times worse than I say. It's unbelievable. But well, we did a little contest between the All Pro Stink and the Gulp. Tex was using Gulp. I was using All Pro. We did a one-on-one. -on -one. Who's going to catch what? My thing is, is All Pro Stink going to be effective? Is it even going to work? All right? I don't like telling the con if it's going to work or if it's not. I'm very true to the con. All right? So what happened is Tex and I go one for one. All Pro, believe it or not, outfished the Gulp. Strange. I have footage of it. Scouts on it. That's what happened only by one fish, but think about that The all pro stuff is just much more bulletproof. I'm gonna do a better video on it. I just All right folks now we're on the uh, fluke grounds. We're gonna do a little see what the difference is between dope and all pro X pro Super stink this stuff stinks so much. I don't even want to touch it with my hands. That'd be honest with you, but we're just gonna do a quick I don't know, it's not a challenge, but just want to see. Tex is going to be fishing on Gulp, and I am going to be trying this All Pro that Vince gave me. I really, I'm telling you, you cannot imagine the smell of this stuff. So, what's the charts? I remember doing the Edison show. I can't even open this thing. I mean, I think you need three college credits just to open this thing. This is some of the beeswax. These are new. Old pro jays. I'm gonna have to go green. I don't want to go green right now this early in the season, but it's kind of forcing my hand to do that. It's not really great shot true, so that's what our play is. I'm gonna drop that on. Oh my god. This is like it's got second biggest. If you want to move off the beach, I mean, we're pushed onto the beach now. All right, so we got a lot of stuff going on with these things. We got the Gacy for uh, like a snake tail there. We got the ribs for two ribs, they call them. So we're gonna throw it on this guy. Nice about this, he's got the uh, bait holder hooks. They look like six odds. Say 
outfish gulp, or but will they keep up with gulp? Is the question. That's gonna be the bottom rig. Uh huh. Stink number two is going on to the no, uh, I'm not about today, but uh, I don't think that that would work. This is very non-thing, right? <laughs> yeah. That's it. I gotta wash my hands. That's how much this stinks. Let's go, Vince, here with this stink. Let's see what happens. I thought that was a fluke. It's a good trip. All right, guys, give me a second here. Just got to hit the alarm. Right, I'm just trying to wake up those who just fell asleep on this part of the episode. All right, basically all we're doing here is we're just going to see if those old pro, ex-pro stinks will hold it, hold their own, basically. And that's basically it. It held. I always stayed one fish ahead of text, but he was getting fish on gulp, no doubt about it. But I was always just one ahead. And that's pretty good testament into how many fish that that old pro could catch. I mean, they're legit. I mean, you guys think for yourself, like I'm gonna say at the end of the video, grab a bag, take a peek at it, tell me what you think. Can't go fish right there, don't let him f*** you. <laughs> he was trying, he saw me hook up, we were at 3-3. Yeah, three, three. fish. He was at 3-3. Three, three. No, it, no, it's not a foul hook fish, that's legit. Did that fish come to the boat? Did I possess that fish in my hand? Yes, it's a catch. But, he sees me catch the fish and he does a stupid fly snooker move on me and tries to freaking snag it. We call it Schneikers in the Eastern Seaboard, but I don't know. This is not a competition. This is just to see if all pro stink can catch fish. That's what really what this is about. All right, players, so that's that. Thanks for watching this episode of the Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. Go out there. Try out those old pros. Get one bag. Just get one bag. First of all, you'll see how much they stink, all right? You'll comment below on that. But they absolutely caught fish. Me, I'm always skeptical about anything that goes on the market, all right? So you got to go out there. You got to try these things, see if it's good to go. I mean, the quality is 10 times better than gulp. You buy the gulp, it's in 10 pieces already. This stuff is really tough for them to beat up, all right? Stinks, stinks like nobody's business. Uh, so my boy right there. Hi, Tom Manella. How you doing, Tom? What else? I'm going to show a couple of con men right now. A couple of killer catches right now. I'll put it to a little music.
Yeah, and our friends over at the Gypsy, of course, look at this freaking fish right here. Do these guys not catch fish over the Gypsy? All right, if you guys are looking to get a fluke of a lifetime, give those guys a holler. They're over at Howard Beach right now on their new boat. Tell them the kids sent you. All right, down. Mini Majas, that's what we're using. The other guys were using Big Magic Mojos for Maja, but I was using the Mini Majas and we just getting crushed on them. We're catching great fish. We're looking for fish to eat though. A lot of the fish that you'll see in the next video were monstrous. And we released those in the Cherry Vanilla State, all right? But also, we took a couple of them to eat, all right? Guess they had to cook some nice stuff up right here. Take a peek at our Instagram, you'll see Hunter's latest dish on that, uh, Striped bass that we call it. Thanks for everything, people. Thanks for watching Kiko Cheese. I know that one got real weird. If you have a second, please consider subscribing. Please consider hitting that bell. Please consider making a donation to FFMD, which is Fishing for Muscular Dystrophy. All right, what a cool cause. What a great outing that was. Hat tip to Island Yard Sales for taking that time. Any effort, man. What a massive undertaking that is to do a fundraiser like that. All right, so everybody take care, brush your head. Thanks for watching this episode. Next one's coming soon.